Hello everybody, my name is Shadbra, and well, I... So here's the thing, um, the YouTuber known as Penguin Zero, or Critical, as you should probably know him by, made a frozen pizza tier list about three months ago, and um, I wish to respond to that with my own pizza tier list that I created. Now, as you can see on the screen, I do not have a whole lot of pizza brands. That's probably because I didn't try a whole lot of pizza brands uh, when I was a child, so you're just going to have to bear with me on that one. I also don't have these frozen pizza brands with me to try in, in, in person. So I have a pretty good memory of these and we are going to rank them. We are going to put them on this tier list. So let us start out, first of all, with never. So I have one frozen pizza that I would just never eat, and that is Newman's Own, okay? I like Newman's Own for their ranch dressing, and I, I, I think they also make chips. And so those are pretty good, but their frozen pizza is absolute trash. It is garbage, okay? It tastes like somebody put spaghetti sauce on a baby wipe. Um, and it's it's just terrible, guys. I, I like him for his... I like Newman for his, his, uh, his uh, barbecue sauce and for his ranch dressing, but I do not like him for his frozen pizza. It's pretty bad, I have to say. So I think that's the only never tier pizza that we have on here. Okay, the next is Come On Man, which is not terrible. It's not awful, but it could just be so much better. Like there's so much waste of potential. Okay, so I would put I would put Kirkland cheese pizza right here, and the reason why is because I don't hate it. I don't outright hate it, but it is pretty. It's pretty mediocre. Um, it all tastes the same. The cheese has absolutely no flavor. I don't remember tasting whenever i tried this i don't remember tasting like actual s tomato sauce on the pizza and so that was a big downer for me it, it it just has no flavor uh the texture is not terrible but it's not that great either so kirkland you you need to step up your game i mean everything else at costco is pretty pretty high quality but with your frozen pizza you need to step up your game okay now with the meh section i am going to put tombstone okay so the flavor of tombstone i quite like but i don't like the texture especially the crust texture texture because well it just is kind of um it's just kind of soggy and floppy as far as i can remember and in order to get it crispy you kind of have to burn it all right you just have to outright burn the pizza and you just can't have burnt pizza or else you'll your fire alarm will go off and your whole kitchen will smell of hot feet so it's kind of a downer for me i want to like tombstone better okay i want to like it better okay so now i'm also going to put di here and di i would probably put at noise noise if it just it, it's just kind of overrated okay it kind of boasts about itself it boasts about itself a lot it says that Oh, it's it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno, meaning that it's just as good as a delivery pizza and you can't believe that it's not a frozen pizza, okay? But it's overrated. It's not that good, okay? There are better frozen pizzas out there and there are definitely better delivery pizzas out there, okay? Let's be real. So, again, DiGiorno, you would have been on noise for your overall quality, but since you boast so much of being an amazing type of pizza you just get the meh tier okay now i'm also going to put tony's okay and again i want it's kind of the same with DiGiorno. it's it's a little bit overrated it doesn't say that it doesn't lie and say it's like oh it's, it, i'm like a delivery pizza okay it still acknowledges that it is indeed a frozen pizza through and through and it's not trying to be something that it isn't but it is not that good and i want to like tony's better and it is overrated everybody says tony's it's it's like the best frozen pizza ever it's not that good so i'm just gonna put it the mass section because 
it's it, it's just always disappointed me every time i've gotten tony's i was really excited i'm like i bet this frozen pizza is gonna be super good and then i try it and i'm just kind of disappointed like step up your game tony you're the most classic italian name and you can't even make a, a an awesome pizza you know okay red baron i'm gonna put it the noise section okay i don't have any complaints about red baron i mean it's not amazing but it's i don't have any complaints really about it the texture is nice um it's not super thick and it's not super thin it's just kind of right you just have you just want a good frozen pizza so you pick red baron and um that's it i mean good flavor good texture not amazing but it's it's a good pizza i i take a i, I take a whole fridge of them okay now Fan freaking tastic Totino's party pizza. Okay. It's the taste of my childhood. There's nothing better. Now, this one it says pepperoni, okay? But my favorite was always sausage. Or I think there's also meat lovers, okay? It's the best. It's the best party pizza, best texture, best flavor, taste of my childhood. And maybe nostalgia's clouding my judgment, but I loved my childhood, so that's why I let nostalgia cloud my judgment, okay? So, and again, quick review. Newman's Own sucks. Kirkland Cheese Pizza, meh. Or it's not even meh. It's, come on, man. It's not good. It's no flavor. Okay, these three. Tombstone, DiGiorno, Tony's. Kind of overrated. I really want to like them more, but I can't because the cruel reality hits me of these frozen pizzas. Okay, now we have Noise nice um again no complaints with red baron they're not amazing but they are pretty good so i, I have you got to put them at noise they're you know a plus for effort and probably an a minus for actual um actual results you know okay now fan freaking tastic of course is totino's party pizza you cannot argue with me that is the classic childhood frozen pizza of the ages uh, we should probably construct like a pyramid or something in its name because Totino's Party Pizza is just so amazing. Um, and you cannot argue with that. And if you say it's gross, oh, by the way, by the way, the YouTubers Rhett and Link, you know what they said? They said that Totino's Party Pizza was like a one out of 10 or a one out of five or something like that. It was really low. And I like Rhett and Link. Um, I mean, reluctantly after they said something like that, but uh, there, there you go. I'm putting Totino's at Fan Freaking Tastic. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys next time.